welcome back to my channel i'm queen and in today's video you guys i'm going to be telling you guys things you should know before moving to charlotte north carolina as i do in all my videos i always put out a disclaimer in the beginning and let you guys know that anything that i state in this video is based solely off of my opinion and my personal experience and everyone's opinion may vary so let's just get straight into it so let's start off with the cost of living. In my personal opinion, I think Charlotte has a very reasonable cost of living. Um, for me, you know, I'm by myself. So like a one bedroom apartment, I like luxury. So it has to be nice. So that will run you here, like depending on where you're trying to live. Like if you're living like in a university area, it'll be like anywhere from like 950 or higher. If you want to stay like uptown Charlotte, then it'll run you like anywhere from like 1100 or higher. And that's just like for like a one bedroom, you know, of course, the more bedrooms it's gonna go up, you know, that's pretty much like common sense. And then like, if you like wanna go to like South Charlotte, which is really nice as well, you can still find you like a really like nice luxury apartment, one bedroom for like at least 950 or higher as well. Um, so there are like a lot of options, you know, um, they're constantly always building here, new housing developments, new apartments. So this is definitely a city where your options of living won't be limited at all. All right, so next we're gonna talk about the weather. So Charlotte has seasons. They have your fall, your winter, your spring and summer, and everything is like pretty, you know, it's pretty normal. Um, the winters aren't really that cold, not for me because I'm from like further up north. So the winters are like just normal. Half the time I don't even really wear a coat. I just wear hoodies like and I'm good. Sometimes if it gets kind of cold, maybe like maybe once or twice the whole winter I might. But the winters aren't really cold. The winters are like really like doable, smooth sailing. All right. Let's talk about jobs. Charlotte is a banking industry. So, um, I always like thought that like being, since I've been here, I've always like, oh, the banking industry definitely is like the majority of like the jobs that are here in Charlotte. But once like COVID hit, I'm starting to see, um, that the hospitality industry is like a major source of like employ employment as well. Um, and I never knew that until like COVID hit and then I saw that as well. So I would definitely say that this is like an area where definitely before you come, um, I would definitely make sure that you have a job lined up before you come and that will make your life a lot more easier because this is definitely like a city where like the banking industry kind of like runs the city, but you can still find a job. Um, especially if you like get out here and you like start networking with people that help out a lot and then you can like find whatever else that you're looking for because there are jobs here it's just more those one of those things where it's like you kind of like have to like know people get yourself out there and like network if you don't already come here with that job that you're looking for um I would say um, transportation, you know, for people that are coming from major cities who maybe don't drive everywhere in Charlotte, you definitely would and should have a car. In my life, like I just couldn't imagine like not having a car anyway, no matter, no matter what or where I was living. That's just me personally. Um, I just don't prefer like public transportation, but they do have public transportation here. Um, of course, you have your Ubers, you have your Lyfts. Um, we have an um above ground like train transit um that runs throughout the entire city from one end to the other and of course like, you also have your buses as well um, next i would like to talk about like things to do um so things to do charlotte is up and coming and so it's like growing so as far as like things to do i would say it's pretty much like bars you know restaurants sporting events hookah lounges oh and you know like top golf and stuff like that i mean before covid hit we were like really like growing like things were like always popping up like new things so like i said it's um definitely a growing city um but for right now that's pretty much what it is and that's what it is but i mean if you're a more laid back type of person then that will probably work for you um and then if you could be patient <laughs> then as time progresses, I'm sure that the city will have even more to offer as time goes, because as I said, it is constantly growing. 
um, let's see, sports teams. So they have um, the Carolina Panthers, which is the professional football team. They have the Charlotte Hornets, which is the professional basketball team. And then they have the um, Charlotte Knights, which is like the, I guess, like the semi-pro baseball team for Charlotte as well. So those are all like um, the sports teams that they have here. Um, and I mean, they're fun. I've been to like several of all those type of games and it's a good time. So that's something you can look forward to if you're looking to move here. Um, next, I like to talk about restaurants because I love going out to like eat. I do. It's fun. Um, Charlotte has like a really good, you know, good selection. Um, you know, of course, you have your chain restaurants here. They have like a decent selection for fine dining as well. Um, and they also have like a lot of cute locally like own like restaurants as well. So they have like a very like, you know, good selection. So that's something that if you're one of those people that are like a foodie, I wouldn't consider myself like a foodie, but I do like to go out to eat. That's something that you would enjoy about Charlotte as well. Next, I like to talk about the culture. Culture. One thing I really like about Charlotte is it's very diverse. In my opinion, I feel like it's diverse and I love living in a city where it's a lot of diversity and it's just a lot of different people that live here. That's just my opinion and I would definitely say that Charlotte is a diverse city. Next, I would like to talk about dating. Hmm. Dating in Charlotte sucks, all right? So I'm gonna be honest, and once again, this is just my opinion. Don't come here looking for the love of your life. <laughs> I mean, let me be honest. Like, it could possibly happen for you, but it sucks. Everyone here is either already married or fake coupled up, but if you're coming here with your significant other, then things will work out just great for you. But as far as like being here and being single, it pretty much sucks. So be prepared to date in other cities. Just warning you. Um, overall, what I will say is if you're thinking about moving to Charlotte, I would say, of course, like just like anywhere else, like definitely come here, you know, and visit and get a feel of everything. I personally would definitely recommend this city um, for anyone to move in. I think that it's like a really nice, like up and coming city. If you're not looking to like just move somewhere where it's like already a major city, then this is a great place for you to come. Um, like I said, the cost of living is very reasonable. And I mean, you just, it's just a win-win situation, especially for someone that's like looking to get into like entrepreneurship, because if you're in an up and coming city, then you're ahead of the game. So the city's not all the way grounded where you can come here, start your business and you can like win. So I would definitely say that this is like a good city for like entrepreneurs as well. Um, like I said, once things get semi back to normal after COVID, I'm sure the city will continue to grow. You know, I know everywhere is being affected very um, in very major ways right now, but um, I'm sure that we'll eventually, hopefully, kind of like bounce back. And when we do, I'm sure that Charlotte, just like before, will continue to grow um, into a major city eventually. You know. Um, so that's about all I'll say about that. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, if you want to see any other videos about Charlotte or any other videos that's related to like anywhere else that I've lived or you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below. And thank you guys again. Till next time. Bye.